All right, this is the three quarter inch by 15 inch stroke, Eldorado M75-1061, a two spindle gun drilling machine uh, with a G&G &G technical retrofit in 2014. The retrofit uh, consisted of adding a Trio motion controller with Trio HMI touchscreen interface. Uh, the controller allows for adjustable home positioning, teachable zero start point with programmable part depth, and three of three each of the following: programmable speeds, programmable feeds, and uh, all per part program. Uh, we have the software ladder logic and the backup. Yes, we do. So yeah, we can kind of walk around. This is all pretty much standard Eldorado. Uh, we're currently powered up, so you can hear the servos just kind of sitting there. Uh, it's already got a piece in it. It came to us like that. We still have the piece parts in there. Spindle, of course. Like I said, this is all standard Eldorado. Where it changes a little bit is at the other end on the uh, touch screen. And these uh, push button stations right here, which are basically, I think yeah, I'm powered up now. I can jog now, but we'll, we'll walk around. What else is up here? These are new. I can turn the air on for what it's worth. These are just the air cylinders here. So these guys kind of... Pretty spindle standard. stoppers, yeah. And they swing out, right? They swing out of there and, uh, yeah, piece, piece removal, what have you. Those work pretty good. A couple of spindles. Yeah, like you said, the home position on these, as you come around, it's still on the dog right here. I've already homed these, but it's a movable dog, which is a standard Eldorado dog rail still. The only difference is now these are all programmable. Everything after homing is all programmable through the touch screen. So you home here or here or here, doesn't matter. Once you home these things, then all the rest takes place in the touch screen. You bring them up, you manually change them. In fact, we're here, let me see, we're, we're standing here. I should be able to play with these things. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a homing speed, I'm sorry, zeroing speed, which is basically jog speed at this point. So I've just blown my auto cycle because I've moved it off the switch, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna just keep moving this thing up here. I've only got a, I think these things have about a two inch uh, uh, cycle built into them right now. And so I'm just gonna leave that there. And when we go back to the screen, I'm gonna call that, I'm gonna call that zero. This one here, you can kind of lean over, same thing. I'm gonna jog this one up. It's a nice, easy jog speed. Before we uh, run the auto cycle, we'll play with the spindles a little bit. Like, I'm going to bring this one up, take it back a little bit. So, and now when we go back, there, I'll re, I'll re-zero them. They've been homed already. You do that once, and that's it. So, again, standard chip box, standard chip chute, all the rest is standard Eldorado, except for these push-button stations. The only other thing besides this jock switch right here is start-stop for my auto cycle. So when we're ready to go, and I finish up on the uh, panel back there with our uh, numbers, we'll just hit cycle start once once the piece part is zeroed. Coming along here, this is all pretty much standard Eldorado, the flow minder kit. Uh, one small difference, they're not using the flow minder wiring because if you go down below, they did a nice job. They kind of put these transducers in here, which monitors, again, back to the control, the high pressure, the low pressure, and all those parameters are set at the control which is what the flow miner used to do just with the arrows on the screen. So this is sitting here, but it's not really being used. But this thing watches the pressure going up to the gun drill. The air package, of course, is right here. And uh, yeah, we're not gonna run the spindles real long. We don't currently have the air, oh, I'm sorry, the, the lube line coming up into the spindles, but for a few minutes, we're fine. We can run that. Okay. And this box on the side, a couple of starters in here for the pumps inside. Those are just pump starters there. All the rusty electrics coming in here and go from the bottom up. These are the two frequency drives for the spindles. This is my three phase just temped in on the jumpers up here. Uh, currently wired uh, low voltage, 220. Two spindle drives down here. There's the HMI panel. Um, we can pop it open too just to show the, the inside here. Maybe we can go through a few of the pages. So that's the controller there with the modules and a couple of safety relays. There's the Cole Morgan drives for each of the two servo drives and a couple of relays. It's uh, not, too, not too big of a deal. On the left on the door, is our, uh, there's part programs in there that we printed out and uh, circuitry schematics.
it's a well done conversion. So this all works well. And there's our panel, and in no particular order, I'll try my best here, Pete. I haven't been on this thing all that much. I know what I want to do, but I just not real good at bopping around the screens here. System config, we're currently in drill three, drill four, and that gives you different values, current position. Most of it's all really self-explanatory. Coolant PSI that'll register on the fly. Spindle, current, all of, most of these you don't play with. Once they're set, they're set, and they're good to go. Uh, what do we got, volts for constant, PSI ratio, volts to temperature ratio. So, uh, I know they're all resettable. All these boxes are settable if you want to play around with them. Hardware maintenance, drill three, drill four. Shows where the limit switches are doing right now, the green. Pump solenoid on, these all light up when things start happening and things turn on. Move drill forward, move drill reverse. The same thing I'm doing with that jock switch over there, I can do with these buttons right here. Uh, again, drill three, drill four, these are just duplicate uh, columns for, for both uh, spindles. Main screen starts back here, it's got the pictures on it, so parameters, hardware and maintenance, and run are the two main ones I've been playing with. Parameters are what, homing, oh these are where you set your X cell and D cell speeds, which is real nice. How fast do you want to home, how fast do you want to jog, offsets, return speed after the cycle's finished. This, these are nice to play with, so you can kind of set up what everything's doing, but this is where I'm set now. I'm not gonna to touch any of this because the auto cycle comes out really nice on this one. So back to main screen. Uh, we can hit, we're, we're in hardware maintenance, I think. There's one or two other ones. Not system config, drives reset I don't need. So this is three and four. This is not my run screen though. I want run screen, I think. Main screen, let's get into the run screen. This is a good one. Yeah, so here's, here's where I hit home and zero part. Now I've already homed it, that's happy. See my part position? That should be zero to start an auto cycle. It's not, because we are jogging them. So I'm on drill three. I want to zero the part. I'm gonna hit it right now. And even though the head doesn't move, it just tells it I want it to be home here. So I'm gonna hit zero part. And that should go to a zero. You'll see it clock down, or at least you should. See if I'm hitting it right. I'm kind of standing off to the side, there it goes. Stop, wait, waiting, boom. There it is, there's zero. And now this page is all for drill three, which is lead in. Well, these are the three we talked about on your right up, Pete. Uh, here's the lengths in, each, in inches for the lead in, and these are the feed rates for those lead in. So we're gonna lead in for a quarter inch or 0 0.270 at this feed rate. Then we jump into the main body for the, for the actual cycle for a couple of inches at a 4.0 feed rate. And then the lead out, just before we come out of the part, we lower it back down. So you'll see the spindle speed change and you'll see the feeds change as you're standing there with the camera. That, that's a nice feature right there, it really is. And thirdly, you got the spindle speed in RPM and look how that's changing. So they're coming in, they're touching off on the part or, or entering at 2,000, going through the part at 3,000 and coming out for, for the last eighth of an inch at 1,000. So that's just drill three. Let's go to drill four before I forget and zero that, otherwise we won't have an auto cycle. Drill four is at 2.3, because again, we were playing with it. If I hit zero part, right there, it's moving, and it's set, it's happy. It's not really moving, it's just finding itself and repositioning itself at zero. So right now, you notice it says press start to drill. So it's happy, no e-stops, nothing lit up. There's like one or two other screens in here. I won't really go into it right now. I do want to get into the, the, the screen that lets me jog the spindles, oh, I'm sorry, turn the spindles on. I think it's over here, like here. Even though it's a preset at 1000, right now, just to turn the spindles on, I'm going to hit, uh, what do I want to do? I want to change spindle speed. This is spindle on. This isn't the one, is it? No. I want to change spindle speed and then turn it on right here. It's currently set at 1000. System is... This is where I get in trouble because I forget where I'm at. It's not hardware. I, I don't think I need to be in the, well, I was in hardware maintenance parameters. It's, I don't think it's run, because that tells you, that's all the presets for that. Statistics, I don't think we've looked at yet. Oh yeah, this is just all the numbers of everything that's been happening recently. We're gonna go back to the monitoring screen. If you just bear with me for a minute, spindle RPM on three and four, yeah, these are all the, on the monitoring screen, you can kind of watch all this on the fly. If I can find, let me go back to main screen here. 
hardware maintenance spindle on I can put it on right now at 1000 but I, I I don't know if I can oh there it is it is that box I wasn't sure I'm sorry so I'm gonna leave it off I'm just gonna leave that 1000 I'm gonna turn number three spindle on and number well one at a time let's I'm gonna hit it right now and then we'll walk over there at 1000 then we'll come back and change it over like a couple thousand real fast that's on it should be running right now so you come over to the side here so just so they've seen the screen already so there's spindle three and watch it I'm just gonna go back and touch number four but that's running real quiet that's at 1000 or I'll tell you what I'll do I'll stop it and I'm gonna run it at 2000 and then we'll switch over to four there's spindle stop and I'm gonna put in 2000 now and I'm gonna start it up again you got it? That's 2,000. Sound nice. I said I'm not gonna run them long because we're not lubed up yet. I don't have all that set yet for the oil mist. But that's that. I'm gonna shut that one off and run number four right across from you. I'm gonna fire up by that 1,000 still. Is that on? All right. There's 1,000. It's pretty slow, but. Again, it sounds really nice. I'm going to go up to two. I'm going to stop it and go up to two thousand. Right, I, I program two thousand and spindle on. So this is just in manual mode, so to speak. When I hit cycle start, they will go to their preset 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000. So you'll see 3,000 during the cycle. I'm gonna stop that now. And I'm gonna go back to the run page here. I'm coming back. Yeah, I just went to the run page. And the run page, it says shows three or four, but either one I should be able to just, it says, press start to drill. And if I want to go to switch to drill four, I'm going to get the same thing, press start to do your drill. We've zeroed a bolt, it doesn't matter because I'm going to go to the other side and actually start them off the buttons right now. And it goes for about a minute or two. We'll, we'll run both of the cycles up there and then maybe we can come back here and run the cycles without watching the servos and maybe see some numbers move on, on the screen here. I haven't done that yet, but I'm sure we can. So, so I'm coming with you? Yeah, all I'm going to do is hit cycle start now. And you kind of watch it. At the beginning, kind of watch the servo because the lead-in is a very slow feed. You won't see it move up here. Then after that quarter inch we talked about, you'll see it pick up speed and the spindle will change and then it goes to its last speed of the last quarter inch of a slower speed. So I'm going to hit cycle start now. We should get a cycle here. Spindle will come up. I think it was going in at 1,000. Maybe that's 2,000. And now, and we're servoing. You kind of watch both. You got a minute or two. It takes about a minute. Now watch it kick in. After, there it is, see? Now there's our body, what they call a body. We'll go for about two inches like this at 3,000. You kind of look at the spindle at three. And then you'll see that slow down. Right after about two inches, you'll, you'll see it slow down. There it is, winding down. I think this is 1,000 here. In the last eighth inch or so, real slow. Still, still feeding. There we go, now we're going back. Like I said, there's no dogs involved at this point. It just, it just went back to its zero position. And the, uh, the other one, I think the other program is very similar. I, oh, that's right, I don't, I don't think I need the touch screen for this. I, I think I just walk up to the station here, same way, on the push button and hit start. So just kind of watch, I'm going to hit this. You'll see the spindle start up, you should. There it is. Comes up. Again, servo's moving very slow. It's a lead-in speed. There's the second one, a couple inches.
we'll go into our breakout speed. And you probably can't see it, but the green light's up on the control panel that shows that the cycle's running up there. And it's going to return back and should go back to gold for amber, as the case may be. Shutting down. Right, there's, you see the D cell is real nice. They set it up pretty good. It's got a good three or four second D cell speed on there. XL speed is real smooth. All those parameters are changeable, so maybe we come back here. I haven't done this once, but if you want to run that one more time, I'm just going to hit cycle start now. Let's see if we can bounce through a few screens, or maybe just this one here, and kind of watch things on the fly from the uh, screen. All right. Yeah. I'll do one more here. I'm just going to hit cycle start. Anything happening here? I haven't done much of this, so statistics monitor screen. Let's go to monitor screen. There we go, that's better, yeah. Current speed, amps, it's just sped up. Spindle RPM is now at three. I'm looking for distance. Oh, position, there it is. You see the position moving? Yeah, that's moving forward up there to 1.2, 1.3. So this is where you kind of monitor things. And also, all the high pressure cooling stuff, you can monitor everything from these screens. It's uh, real good tight control on here. Of course, we don't have any oil. I have no pump systems. Yeah, 2.2, we're moving. Drill 4 is not doing anything. I could have started them both up. We could have watched them both. <laughs> I just noticed that. Slowing down now. Speed's way down. And you should see it come back in a second, and all those numbers should stop. That'll be Here it comes. That's it right there. One, just about, yeah. Slowing down, that's about it. Now they're just standing there static. Yeah, so uh, we showed the panel, the pump system. Like I said, we don't have any oil in it right now, but uh, that'll all be good to go. And the overall view, uh, pretty much the gist of it right there.